looking at a Vauxhall Vectra today, this one's petrol, it wouldn't start, I got a problem, somebody's already been out and looked at it and found by wiggling the relays it worked, um, but it only worked for a little while, but here's the fault codes, the ECU, it's not communicating with it, it says replace the electronic control unit, but the problem is it wasn't communicating to it earlier, main relay for the engine ECU is a low voltage and the bottom one, I'm not worried about that for a no start but it's worth knowing that it's got an intake camshaft. I'll show you what I've done, the, the range performance on that camshaft isn't what I'm looking at for this not starting, I've gone for the relay, fix the relay and I'd fix the communication. So I've already done it, it was raining and stuff so I just got on with it but basically what I found by using one of these and the power probe I managed to I had to tape the power probe back together at the end fell off managed to figure out that the relay wasn't working it was the ground side for the control side of it the ground side goes to the engine ECU so I've put it into here into that wire right there that wire is the control side for the ground side it's brown and yellow the only brown and yellow you see there on the back plug out of these two the ECU, it's the back plug, and it goes to the control side, to this relay, main relay. So what I've done is just soldered a wire, just to bypass the contacts in this fuse box. We've, so we're getting past all that, the wire's going to neatly go down, cable tied out the way. It's just an overlay for now to get it going, it's a cheaper option for the, you know, if the car's getting older. But now, that goes in there, the relay's working, it gets the ground when you want it to get the ground to energize the relay to make everything work. I'll show you at starting. See, it wouldn't even crank before. So what I'm going to do is clear these fault codes now that I've seen them and it works. That's just the ignition on now. I'm going to clear the fault codes and we'll see how we get on with that. It looks like that's a fix somewhere. It could be in that fuse box under the bonnet. Somewhere there could be a bad contact and yeah there may be other issues about to happen but this is just to get it going for now. Once it's erased all these we'll see what's left with no faults in the engine now. I'll start it and see if there's still no faults. Once it's finished doing all its stuff. Right. So, started it. Let's see. Back in the engine, is there any trouble codes? None at the moment. See, the, there would have been before. Hopefully that's helpful to somebody. If there's a problem with the wires, there are going to be other wires in the area that may be faulty. It could be a break in the wire between the fuse box over there and the engine ECU or it could be inside the fuse box, but whatever it was, we've just bypassed the whole lot just to get it going, and that, that seems to be the quickest and easiest and definitely the cheapest option at the moment. Hopefully it's helpful to somebody. Thanks for watching.